My name's Ian Cameron. I'm editor of Diesel Progress International. I'm at the uh, Intermat 2018 trade show in Paris. I'm on the Cummins stand. Cummins have invested heavily in the electrification and is developing their electrification business. Uh, this has included acquisitions of battery technology companies over recent uh, periods. I'm with Julie Ferber to discuss this. Julie is the head of the Cummins electrification business. Uh, Cummins has made a significant investment in electrification over recent years. Can you explain the rationale behind that strategy? So I think Cummins really sees itself as a power company providing power solutions to our customers. Um, and I think we're now entering a time when it's not just a one-size-fits-all solution, which has really been predominantly diesel for a number of decades. And we're moving to a position where a variety of solutions are available for the customer. And so Cummins really wants to be able to offer those solutions to the customer to meet whatever needs they have. So we've decided to make a significant investment in electrification um, to be able to provide a variety of electric solutions to our customers, anything from a fully electric powertrain um, to various types of hybrid solutions as well. Cummins has made significant uh, acquisitions over recent years. But what was the thinking behind that? Sure, we see the battery pack as a significant part of the overall electric power system and so felt that for us to be seen as a leader in electrified power, we needed deep capability in some of that those subsystem technologies and battery packs was really the first of those subsystems that we decided to invest in. So between the acquisition of Bramo in the US and Johnson Matthey battery systems in the UK, we really now have te technical capability right from low voltage through high voltage batteries and are able to offer a wide range of battery solutions to our customers. Following on from these acquisitions, do you expect that the company will make more similar moves and acquisitions? Um, I think so. We've been public and said we're going to spend about $500 million over the next three years on electrified power, and some of that will be organic and some of it will be inorganic um, investment. So, yes. And what do you think is the future of diesel looking ahead 10, 20 years? Do you see a good future for diesel? So I think there's a future, yeah, I think diesel will still be around for a while. Certainly some applications make sense for electrified powertrains today, but, but many don't. Many are still, you know, diesel's hard to beat from a cost and an efficiency perspective. And so, you know, particularly if you think about things like line haul truck and things like that, we see that there's a long runway for diesel for the future in those. And obviously already on our stand today, we have a range extended uh, electric powertrain, which encompasses a diesel engine. So yes, we see a long future for diesel. Okay, Julie, thank you very much for your comments this afternoon.